So now for question number five from this um, IGCSE paper four one variant one from May June two thousand twenty from the Cambridge Syllabus zero five eight zero. This question is about Venn diagrams and it tells us here x is an integer. It's a whole number, positive or negative, and the universal set, which means all the numbers that we are considering in this question, which would be in this Venn diagram, this big rectangle, everything in this big rectangle will be represented in the universal set, which are all the numbers from 41 to 50, including 41, including 50, all the integers, all the whole numbers, because x is an integer. A is such that x is an odd number, but it must be within the universal set. So I'm going to list down all of the elements of A here, just to make it clear. So it's an integer, an odd integer, so 41 would be included as would 43 and 45 and 47 and 49. Those are all the ones that are not divisible by 2 within our universal set. <clears throat> then we have multiples of 3. So we've got to work out which one of these are multiples of 3. Um, well, there could be some of the even numbers as well. So let's go 41. No, 42, yes. Any number whose digits are, uh, the sum of whose digits are divisible by 3 will be divisible by 3 and 42. If you add them together, you get 6, 6 divisible by 3, so 42 is divisible by 3. 43 is not divisible by 3. 44 is not divisible by 3. 45 is divisible by 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, which is divisible by 3. Um, 46, nope. 47, nope. 48, yes, because you can see that 48, they add up to 12. 49, no, and 50, no. So these, these are the numbers which are divisible by 3 within <coughs> the range that we're given. And prime numbers. A prime number is a number that has only or exactly two factors, one and itself. So um, no other number will be divisible by except for one and itself. So 41 seems like it's a prime number. 42, of course, all the even numbers um, apart from 2 are not prime. So it can't be any of the even numbers. So let's see. Is it 43? Um, 3 plus 4 is 7, yep, this, that looks like it's a, a, a prime number. I don't think there's no numbers that go into it that we know. There must be a prime number. 45, that's not a prime number because uh, they add up to 9. 47, again, that's another prime number. I don't think any number multiplied to give you 47. 49 is not a prime number because 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, so that means, um, yeah, it has other factors. So these are the the numbers that exist in the sets given. So now we have to put in all the values in the Venn diagram. So the first thing we do is look for any number that is common to all three. So we have 41, 43, 45. Okay, there's nothing common to all three. 41 is not here. Um, it's in these two, but not here. 43 is in here and here, but it's not a multiple of three. 45 is in these two, but it's not a prime number. Okay, 47 is in these two. Yeah, okay, so in fact, there's nothing in this central common part. It's going to be nothing there. So we just leave that blank. Then let's look at A and B. What's common to A and B? Common to A and B are uh, 45, just 45. That's the only number that is odd and a multiple of 3 um, in this range. Okay, then we write down what's common to A and C. <clears throat> A and C. So A and C, what's common is 41 and 43 and 47. So C is actually, actually all inside A. Okay, 41, 43, 47. 43, 47, all of them exist in A. So, I mean, this Venn diagram could have been drawn differently, but we can leave those parts blank, which nothing belongs to. And then we got B and C. These two, we can see the only thing that's common. Well, there's nothing common again. You've got multiple of three and a prime number. That Those are, you know, you can't have a multiple of three and it being a prime number as well. So there's nothing common between these two either. So now we've got to put in whatever's in A left, which is not in the other two. So we've got 41, 43, 45, 47. 49 is the only number left in A. And that's neither in the other two. And in B... We have 42, 45, 48. 45 is taken up. We're going to have um, 42 and 48. Okay, and in C, we have 41, 
43, 47, all of them are already taken up. So there's nothing in this part of C. So what's outside um, all the other numbers that have not been listed? So if we think about it, 41 has been listed, 42, 43, 44 is not listed. So I'm going to put 44 out here. 45 is listed, 46 is not listed. So 46 goes out here. Okay, um, what's the number start from? 41, yeah, we've got 41. 47 is listed, 48 is listed, 49 is listed, and 50 is not listed. So here we have the Venn diagram completed. Okay, so these all these three areas are completely blank. And this is our Venn diagram for part A of question number five. And now for part B, it says list the elements of A intersection C. So those are the elements which are in this area here, where it's the intersection between A and C. And we can see that it's just these three numbers, 41, 43, 47. So when you list them, you must put them in these squiggly brackets, 41, 43, and 47. And then it says, find the complement of B union C. So B union C would be everything inside B and C. Okay, so B union C would be all of these numbers here. That means B union C complement would be the numbers that are not in there, but they're in the universal set. So everything outside of the circles B and C together will be the union of uh, B, B, sorry, B, B union C all complement. So it's 44 and 46 and 49 and 50. Okay, all the numbers outside of those two circles, 44, 46, 49, 50. So you're going to have 44... 46, 49, and 50. Close the bracket there. Okay, 44. Let me just write that knee. It looks like a 9, doesn't it? Okay, so 44, 46, 49, 50. Those, whoops, those are the elements that we have in A, B, union, C, complement. And the last thing it says, find the number of elements in A intersection, B inter intersection, C, which is the number of um, elements in this area here, which is zero. That's the intersection between all three of them. Interse A intersection, B intersection, C. That's this area. And there is no, there are no elements in there. This says, it's telling us to write down the number of elements. So it has this N in front of it. So <laughs> it's telling us to write down the, uh, the number of elements. There's zero elements in that section because there's nothing that is fulfilling all three conditions of being odd, multiple of three, and prime between those numbers. Okay, so there we have the answer to part C, and we have completed this question five. Question five from this paper, which we'll find the other papers from this paper in the playlist, which will be up here, and other questions um, did to deal with uh, Venn diagrams and um, uh, Venn diagrams and set notation, you'll find in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.